Elasticity refers to the ability to scale up, but also the ability to scale back down. The idea is that if you can quickly provision a new infrastructure to handle high loads of traffic, uh, traffic spikes like a website that sees a sudden increase in visitors. However, what happens after those visitors go away? If you leave all these new instances running after a scale up, your resource bill is going to skyrocket and you'll be paying for unused resources. An elastic system prevents this. After a scaled up period, an elastic infrastructure can scale back down, meaning you're only going to be paying for the usual resource usage and some extra for the time when your traffic was high and you were using those extra resources. The key to an elastic infrastructure is that it happens automatically. When resource needs meet a certain threshold, and this is usually measured by traffic of some sort, the system itself knows that it needs to deprovision a certain amount of infrastructure and does so. Elasticity offers a few key benefits. It offers the ability to scale up and handle high volumes of traffic, while also offering the ability to scale back down to use fewer resources when needed. This keeps end users happy and also saves money by scaling back down automatically when those resources are no longer needed. Now, all of these scale up and scale down principles are related to one central problem, and that is the ability to avoid both over provisioning and under provisioning of resources. There's often a fine line between not having the resources to run an application effectively and wasting money on infrastructure that's not needed. Elasticity addresses this. It's all about smart, efficient architecture that finds a decent balance between not enough resources and too much. Microsoft Azure addresses this issue with Autoscale. Autoscale allows you to have the right amount of resources running to handle the load on whatever application it is you're running. It allows you to add resources to handle increases in load, and it also allows you to save money by automatically removing resources that are sitting idle. Essentially what you do is you specify a minimum and a maximum number of instances to run, and then add or remove VMs automatically based on a set of rules. Having a minimum number of VMs available makes sure the application is always running, even under no load. Setting a maximum threshold limits your total possible hourly cost for running those resources. You can then automatically scale between the two extremes, the minimum limit and the high limit, and you do so using rules that you create. When rule conditions are met, one or more of your auto-scale actions are triggered. You can add and remove VMs or even perform other actions.